Greetings, Salutations YouTube, it's Adrian here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to a new video. Today is a Goodwill Hunting video, so I'm super excited to take you guys into the thrift store with me. And if you guys love thrifting, you love thrift hauls, you love vlogs, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button for notifications, and don't forget to check out my Instagram and Facebook. It's Adrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop at itshadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures. Um, today, we're going to be going into a Goodwill boutique. This is one of my favorite ones. I bring you guys here all the time, so I'm super excited to take you guys in there with me. I haven't been here for about a week so I'm super um like excited super excited what's another word for excited I'm euphoric and giddy with delight to see what they have inside the store so let's go inside and check it out okay you guys this is what I found so far this is a fake Fendi it doesn't have any like things inside that say that it's Fendi but the color is cute and I'm pretty sure that this is leather we have to investigate further, but it is a little dirty. Then this leap skin. This one's brand new. I believe this one was 40. And then there's this leap skin. It still has tags on it. And I think this one's 15. There's also this like fake Chanel. And fortunately it's pleather, so like the things are coming off, so I'm not gonna be getting it, but this one's 40. But it looks really cute, right? They have this Louis Vuitton pouch. It is fake though, like the color is totally off in real life. $10. This is like a, definitely a fake coach. Look at this, how it's attached. Really badly. There's another coach. This one is authentic, you can just tell by feeling it, but it's pretty damaged, so. This is kind of cool. I like these little things right there. Oh, DKNY, I like that lock on it. Steve Madden. Relic. It's Cole Hunt? Oh, it is, I kind of like this guy. How much is this guy? $20, not bad. I think I might get that one. Check out the rest of these bags really quick. Oh, uh, this is a Lucky brand. Little orange one for 20. That one's a little too expensive, I think, for such a tiny bag. All right, now I'm on this other side looking for more handbags. I have this coach. This one's actually in pretty good condition. $30. <clears throat> Looking for the crossbody strap to see if it's in here. Fortunately, unfortunately, it's missing. But I mean, it's actually not in the worst shape. There's a little corner wear. But other than that, the color is fantastic on this, and the rest of it is pretty clean. But $30, I don't know. I'm gonna think about that one. See what else is in here. So we'll keep skipping up, diaper bag. Look at this little mini mouse. Ooh, spode. I love spode. I also kind of like this fish plate or thing. Oh, they have vintage catalogs. But yeah, that mini is pretty cute. She's like super vintage. Let's check it out. The knickknacks. <clears throat> that looks like a vintage Mickey frame. Piano. Precious moment stuff. Oh my gosh. This is like an Ann Geddes baby. It is. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh goodness. Goofy. Yeah. Drink Coca Cola. That's kind of cool if it was actually vintage. Oh, look at that artwork. It looks like it's real and it was like signed. So whoever made it, like, signed it. Oh, this trunk is kind of interesting. 
Look at the inside. Samson luggage. Interesting. I wonder how much this is. I don't know if I would buy it, but twenty dollars. This little box is really pretty. Made in China. These bowls are really pretty. They're from the Smithsonian Institution. Adapted from French wallpaper. This is really pretty too. Royal Cotswolds. Pretty. They have these easy boosts. They're $40. They're probably not real, but who knows. <laughs> hey guys, I just got everything inside the car, so let's go back home. I'll show you guys what I got. Hey guys, okay, so I'm back at the house, and I'm super excited to share with you guys what I got. I got some really good stuff at this Goodwill Boutique. You know, it's one of my favorite stores, and I know that it's not for everyone, but I found some really amazing stuff today, and I'm super excited to share, with it, with, share it with you guys. And at this particular store, I feel like I find a lot of really good handbags, but... I have one thing that's not a handbag because I also think that they also have really good like fashion books sometimes. And I did find this really cool one. It's called French Revue de Nudes. I don't know what that means. I'm just like pretending. Uh, but it's a 15, an 15 year anniversary issue. <coughs> and I don't know if this is like um supposed to be like a magazine that for the anniversary issue they made it into a book. Um, with a hardbound cover and everything. But I thought this was really cool. It has some... Pretty like cool like photos and stuff like inside um, and um, even if I don't use it as photo ta like a photo table book, you could probably like cut out the pictures and use them like as artwork. Um, so you can do like a lot of really cool stuff. I think with like books and stuff that you find like art books and all that that you can find at the thrift store. I think you can do so much amazing stuff. Um, I got this for three dollars and ninety nine cents, and I guess it retailed for sixteen dollars and ninety five cents here in the U. Yes, so I thought this was a really cool book. I like it a lot. There's like a little Louis Vuitton thing on the back um, But yeah, really cool like hardbound coffee table book I think would look really nice in your house now um, Down to the handbags. Um, the first item I have here. This is a really cool like laptop bag and It's a brand called this is ground um, it's made in Italy. The leather is stunning. It's in fantastic condition. There are just like a couple little marks on the leather, but this is almost feels like a like like the um, Coach like glove tan leather kind of. Um, so that kind of leather does show like marks over time, but that's just like how they are. Um, this guy was only fifteen dollars, and I think it's just like a very nice briefcase, um, work bag, you can even use this as like an everyday bag, but you can definitely put your laptop inside. It's nice and padded. Um, there's lots of pockets and compartments. There's a pocket in the front, pocket in the back. All this, all these pockets inside. Um, so yeah, it's just a beautiful, be I was really excited when I saw this. I was like, this is a really nice laptop bag. And um, it almost has almost like a color, like, uh, almost like ruthenium kind of hardware on it. So. I think it's really pretty. Um, again, also this stuff, lots of this stuff, I'm um, cleaning this bag, is gonna be up for sale in my shop, it's if anyone is interested in any of these bags. So there's that. Super excited about that. Um, up next, <coughs> excuse me, I have this really cute Lieb skinned shoulder or crossbody bag. Uh, Lieb skinned makes such beautiful leather bags. Um, they're based out like in Berlin um, The leathers are all vegetable dyed and they're like very environmentally conscious about the way that they dye their leathers so um, They're the way they make their leathers and produce them and dye them and everything um, are not harmful to the environment Which I think is really nice. This bag was $15 as well. Um, it's really cute. It has this zipper pocket right there um, The middle apartment is compartment is open and there's another zipper in the front and it's just all like snaps closed like that and um, the studs are really cute on it and this bag is literally brand new still it still has the original hang tag and yeah just like a really great cross body bag really easy the leather is so soft and amazing and um, you guys are gonna love this bag it's so gorgeous 
Okay, now up next, <coughs> I thought this bag was so cute. I can't believe this was there. But um, this is definitely not like an authentic handbag or anything. Um, but it looks like the Fendi um, Peekaboo bag. And it's like in like a baby blue, which is really pretty. It doesn't have like, um, and this bag was um, $40. But it doesn't have like any markings on the inside, like it doesn't have the um, Fendi logo or anything like that. So it's just like, it just like looks like a Fendi bag. So it's really cute though. Um, but yeah, it does have a little bit of dirt on it, but I think I can clean it off. Like there's some dirt right there, some dirt along the hardware and the corners and stuff. Um, I'm going to clean it, um, see how clean I can get it, but I think it's all going to come off. So, it's a really cute bag though, and it is leather, and it's like nice and substantial, so I think, um, it's really cute. So there's that. And then, um, I do have this. Now, I'm pretty sure this isn't authentic either, but it looks like, um, the Louis Vuitton Mahina. Um, I, like, just off the bat, it doesn't look like the holes are, like, the same, like, like the leather, like how... They do the holes for the um, pattern. It doesn't look exactly the same. And um, the hardware, the hardware here is missing. Um, I think two of them fell off or something. They're like in here somewhere, I think. Hold on. Did I already lose them? Oh, no, here they are. Um, yeah, so they fell off, but I have them right here. So I'm going to try and see if I can um, repair the bag. But other than that, I mean, the bag is really cute. Um, but I'm pretty sure that it's not authentic at all. But it's just a gorgeous handbag um, in general. And uh, I think it's really pretty. So there's that. And I like the shape of this. The silhouette is really nice. And this is leather. It's super soft. And I like the color as well. <clears throat> then up next we have this is a Michael, Michael Kors um, Hamilton this is the version that they have without the lock which I kind of like because sometimes the lock is like a little cumbersome and it is like kind of loud and heavy but I that's also kind of like why people like it like it's really a statement piece but this one is the version um, without the lock it's black over the gold hardware um, And this one was $40, so this was actually in pretty good condition. Um, not really too much signs of wear. There's a little bit of markings on the hardware. But I actually think most. I actually think it's kind of come off. I think it's just like a little dirty or something. Um, but this, this is just a gorgeous handbag. Um, you know I love this style from Michael Kors. The Hamilton is one of my favorites from him, and a lot of guys like it too. So it's really cute. And then um, what I'm talking about with the hardware on the Hamilton, this is the other one. They also had this one over there as well. Now this one is a little bit smaller than this one. It's a little bit of a smaller version, but just a little bit smaller. And this one is really cute. Michael Kors um, silver hardware, um, black leather. Um, this one is a little bit smaller, like I said, and in really good condition too, actually. Um, the interior does have a couple pen marks, but this one was only $20, so there's that. And that rounds out today's, um, haul video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and going to that Goodwill and checking out all my really cool finds. I hope you guys liked the bags. If you guys did, let me know what your favorite one was. And give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button for notifications. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow for a new video. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys then. Bye! I feel like I had a bad, you know, like, the one